going to my channel, Virgil Loves Halloween. You may wonder, why is Virgil still talking about fall and Halloween stuff? It's because that's really all I care about. Um, when Christmas time comes, you know, I might talk about Christmas time. But right now, it's still fall and Halloween to me. Um, I want to thank everyone that, uh, you know, reviewed my stuff uh, or kind of promoted it, uh, you know, for this uh, last little sale I had. Uh, I think it was a success. Um, I want to thank uh, Haven, Hans Haven, uh, Video Goulash, uh, Chance, you know, Halloween Candles over on Instagram, you know, uh, Wicked Dollboy, uh, Brett, you know, everybody that's reviewed my stuff. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, I'd say it's a success, but now I just got to replenish everything I sold. So uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> but uh no, I got a couple of Kringle candles I wanted to go over. Um, business has been, you know, it's been okay. Um, been real busy um, this fall season, you know, trying to get everything ready for Halloween. And work's been crazy. Um, been trying to develop new scents. Uh, so, yeah, I barely have any any free time for me. So, you know, when I've been burning, you know, I, I normally don't test in my... Uh, in my shop it's uh it's it's too big to really you know get to know the sense so i really only test in my bedroom i'm only in there for like a few hours a day so i haven't really burned anything for pleasure lately you know it's all been testing you know testing you know stuff for the company and and uh yesterday i figured you know it's friday the 13th happened to land in uh october and you know, I figured I was gonna, you know, burn something I wanted to burn, and something that I normally don't burn, because uh, you know, I as a collector, you know, I normally don't burn anything unless I have a backup, um, especially you know these expensive uh, signature jars. But uh, figured the hell with it. If they come back, they come back. But uh, figured I'd throw up a video. It was kind of a solar eclipse going on outside it looks kind of cool and spooky but i want to go over these two uh two candles i got from uh kringle their signature line uh these came out a little while ago i just haven't really had a time to much time to spend with them or burn them or review them but the first one i got santal and pumpkin i like the label very uh simple Look pretty. Yeah, I said pretty. Hmm. I like the scent on this one. Um, the pumpkin's not the star. Um, the Santal would be the star on this one. There, there's still a lot of other stuff going on in here, you know, besides, you know, just the pumpkin and the Santal. Hmm. It's very, uh, very light. You know, not not on the scent, but you know, the scent comes off as light and uh, you know, kind of uplifting. Um, you do get the pumpkin, you know, like that that white pumpkin smell. Um, but this one is kind of weird because it, it's got like three different layers to it. And uh, when I go over the scent notes, it'll make sense. Uh, so the top is a uh, pumpkin puree, nutmeg, and clove. You know, which is basically like a pumpkin spice. And the mid is white leather and rich santal cord. And the base is vanilla woods, glowing amber, patchouli, and caramel musk. So, yeah. Three distinct different bases. But somehow they, they work. Somehow they work together. I like it. Um, I did burn this one. Got one good burn on it. Um... The scent, I love the scent on this one. You know, of course I'm gonna love anything that's pumpkin. It's not too spicy. But uh, the burn, you know, the burn was good on it. And uh, the throw, the throw was about, say about a seven, maybe seven and a half. But I only burned it once. You know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta burn these Kringles a couple times to hit the sweet spot. But overall, yeah, I, I do like this. So they're $34. I believe these are 22 ounces. But yeah, 
this one is still in stock at the moment. Um, also, over at Kringle today, they're having a 30% off um, their Halloween candles. I did buy a few yesterday. Uh, just a few that I didn't have backups of. That way I could actually burn them this year for Halloween. That's going to be pretty cool. I think I just got uh, the new updated uh, Nevermore. Let's see, I got uh, another Witching Hour. I'm really surprised that one's still in stock. And uh, a couple other ones. I think Scarecrow. Yeah. I haven't burned that one yet, ever. So it's going to be interesting. And I'm going to go over Great Pumpkin. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Hmm. This one really, really surprised me. Um, it, it's hard to find a candle where the pumpkin scent, you know, kind of mimics a real pumpkin. Now, this one doesn't do it exactly, but... From the ones that I have tried from many companies. Uh, this one's really close. Mm. Yeah, this one is a winner. Sadly, it's out of stock. Um, and I did burn this one. Got one good burn on it last night. A couple hours. Um, one thing that really really surprised me about this uh last night it was within 10 minutes you know it hadn't even fully pulled out yet and it like filled my my entire bedroom yeah i mean the scent on this one is beautiful and the throw you know i'd almost have to give this like a nine eight and a half nine the, the throw on this one was really good and to have a good pumpkin scent like that and have that type of throw with 100% soy. That's good job. Kudos, Kringle. Yeah, and that scent, that pumpkin scent, that that's good. It's almost like uh, Mike Kittredge had uh, tried my pumpkin spice king, and he was like, "Hey, hold my beer." <laughs> and it, it's not too spicy. Yo, know, it. I love it. See the scent notes. The top is pumpkin and cinnamon, mid nutmeg, ginger root, and the base is toffee and vanilla. Mm. Yeah, you do get the you do get the spices. It, it's, it's not overwhelming, and uh, I think I think they put the toffee in there to kind of mellow that out a little bit. That's a good idea. But yeah, if you can get your hands on a great pumpkin, do it. This thing is amazing. Anyways, um, October 23rd, I believe at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Haunted Haven. I believe she's going to have a live. You know, it's going to be Halloween-centered, I think. Talk about candle trivia and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, never know. She might have some stuff to give away. You might have to tune in to find out. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching my video.